Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Heck yeah. yeah uh, you got a Bulean story. 1,000 Ashtabulean nights. So it's not every day that a story for me and Jonas's alma mater city mater. of, of Ashtabula. like that, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> of Ashtabula comes across our desk but when one does i feel the need to jump on it uh i mean everyone needs to know what kind of good ass place we lived exactly exactly a long time but it's so, oh my god mm-hmm. next year it'll be 20 years since i've lived there that's insane that's yeah that's wild time. dude anyways that's a long time yeah so in Ashtabula, ohio surveillance cameras at an ace hardware store Ooh, where's that at i'm not exactly anyway. sure but it's in Ashtabula, so there's an Ace Hardware store, and the uh, the workers there noticed that a man walked in, and uh, he asked them where the hedge clippers were. So they informed him where the hedge clippers were, so the man walked back to the hedge clipper aisle, grabbed a pair of hedge clippers, proceeded to cut something off of his ankle, and then leave the store. Um... When the when the oh he took a bag of free popcorn and then he left the store, the the workers oh, then, must be the old stand boss. The, the workers would, <laughs> <laughs> they always have free popcorn. I was like, I know where the free popcorn. Busy is. Beaver, yeah, the exactly. Busy <laughs> anyway, so the workers went back there and they noticed that the man had cut an ankle bracelet, cut off, off his house arrest bracelet, he cut off his hot house arrest bracelets, and he was on a run. But he's. He's already on the lamb when he left the house. I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, why wouldn't you take the why wouldn't you take the hedge clippers home with you? Why wouldn't you cut it off at home and then they think you're at home when you're out gallivanting off? Yeah, or cut it off, take it home, leave it there, and then go gallivant. So I, I mean, don't I really don't know what the hell this guy's story was, but this is the hottest news to hit the Ashtabula Presses. It's made national headlines. I don't know about that, but yeah, I'll, we'll say so. Yeah, let's do it. House it arrest did. man. It did, Joe. This is a national he- headline. So the man was obviously called. <laughs> and he was did we t- go to high school with him? <laughs> Sounds like somebody we went to. I don't know. There's like there's pictures of him, but What's I don't his know. What's his name? I don't, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking right now. I'll tell you if I find it. But that, that was basically the story, Jonas. Of of the man in Ashtabula. Oh and, 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 God, and there's nothing more Ashtabulian than being on house arrest and cutting it off in the Ace Hardware store You're and leaving wrong. the ankle bracelet there. Speaking of Ashtabula, yeah. I, I saw something online and I thought it was a very interesting way to describe someone. And uh, it fits in because it's kind of trashy. So someone, there was a story, I don't even remember what it was, but someone in the comments on Reddit put trashy grandma. Okay. And I was like, oh, that's funny, you know, trashy grandma. And then the next comment down said, she's a bottle of Boone's Farm filled with dip spit. That's and I was like, that is the most gross gross way to describe that's gross. <laughs> bottle of Boone's Farm filled with dip spit. That's like, that describes that's, some people in Ashtabula. That's hilarious, but it's also very gross. <laughs> it does describe the inhabitants of Ashtabula. Not all of them. A good majority. Yeah, I go up there, I hug folks. Mm. Not everybody smells like wacky tobacco you know or tobacco or whatever. <laughs> you wouldn't take a sip of them, though, now would you? Ooh, I don't know if I'd uh, sip on anybody. See, see, see? There was a Boolean. A Boolean what? What if you met... What if you went back to Ashtabula and you if? met a girl and you fell in love with her? Would what you if? date her as an Ashtabulian? <laughs> Would you move back? What this if she a, was like, she was good though? This she is was, see, this is a flawed question. Because it can't happen? It's not flawed because it, it it's not possible. It's that you're you're already asking me when to when I'm emotionally involved. Now, you could say something like, would you be more likely to fall in love with a girl from Ashtabula or a girl from L.A.? And I'd be like, hmm, that's an interesting question because both of those places are hell. So, I don't I, know. I think one is worse than the other. Uh-huh. Would you rather live in Ashtabula than L.A.? Uh-huh, man. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can afford to live in Ashtabula. I mean, not yeah, not live in a box. <laughs> At least I can afford to live I mean, in Ashtabula. You're not wrong, dude. You are not wrong. But this, these, that, 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 so like, if you just say like, if you fell in love with a girl in Ashtabula, would you date her? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> I'm already in love with her. 
<laughs> I already well, love but her. No, but no, I guess what I mean is like, what if, you know, like you can be like, I'm out at the bar, I meet this fly honey in Ashtabula, and then you're like, I'm not even going to. Well, see, that's more of a question of am I willing to do a long-term relationship because there's no chance I'm moving to Ashtabula and there's no chance I'm asking her to move in with me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that are you willing for a long-term relationship? I don't think you vet these questions before I you just, ask me. I, I, I think just, you just ask them off the top of your head. This is called improvisation. So oh. I just ask you questions that pop in my mind you as know, they happen. That's, that's funny because I look at the podcast not so much as improv, but more as like uh, an exercise in critical thinking. I mean, it's a little bit of both. Okay. I mean, we don't write anything. No, no. This is truth, no, not no, facts no, on this motherfucker. Like, you know, no, dude, no, it ain't. No, 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 no. I have, mean, have you ever been on house arrest? This is a good question. Uh, no. No. Have you ever known anybody to be on house arrest? Um, I can swear to God that I know I've seen a person. Oh, with a one of the on. mall folks, I'm sure, was on exactly, house arrest somewhere. Exactly. Like, have any of my close friends ever been on house arrest? I don't think so. I kind of feel like the guys we hung out with in Vegas. One of them has been on house arrest no. before. No, no. How do you know? Well, before they moved to Vegas, they definitely <laughs> weren't. I mean, obviously, when we were kids roaming the Ashtabula streets, no, nobody was on house arrest. Um, yeah, Probably. no, dude, I have never, I only have had to go to court twice. Mm -hmm. Once was for having two speeding tickets before I was 18. So the second one, I had to go to court with my mm -hmm. dad. Fair. And like, because it was, I was like, they're like, nasty Nate, better do it right. Did, and, you, get, uh, did you get grounded? I did not. And then he this, was just like, why this, are you doing that? Stop. And I was like, okay. This, like this guy. Um, the second time was when I was the manager of a blockbuster video and I caught a guy stealing mm. and I had to go to court and testify about it. Oh, you had to go to court and snitch. All right. I had to go there and narc, bro. You are a snitch. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I want to snitch on some right goddamn <laughs> now. <laughs> realized that i did a podcast with an informant <laughs> he uh Holy i was the one that called shit. the cops on him so oh my god he's a snitch. it was he's my a store snitch. it was my store Bro, i caught him right. mind your business you got a crack pipe you know better than these bitches at the ace hardware store that told on the guy with the ankle bracelet i he had a crack pipe I saved, so? his, I saved his life you ain't save his life you put that man in jail he can't even smoke crack there and that saved his life. <laughs> saved his God life. damn right. Yeah, I'm sure that man right now is thinking, man, if it wasn't for that. If it wasn't for that, Jonas that, or for that Blockbuster video store manager, I'd be a dead man right now. What are you saying? I, 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 let's look oh. him up. I remember let's his name. look him up. You remember his name? Absolutely. That's absolutely horrid, dude. So not only he was a customer that came in all the time. I knew who he was. Wow. He was in there. He was in there, smiling in my face and putting a knife in my GD back when I he turned around. He was not putting a knife in your back. You don't own the videos. Yeah, but I was in danger of getting fired for all the theft. You he stole a lot of shit. It was like a habitual thing. He was challenging my livelihood. No, you weren't going to get fired because... I absolutely was close to getting fired. You were not getting fired because of somebody stealing. My manager was so mad when we did inventory and saw how much stuff was stolen. And it was, and it was the, only thing, the only thing that saved me was that I was like, I've told you 10 times how much stuff has been stolen. And, and you have not come here to do anything about it. So, yeah. I don't think I was in danger of getting fired. <laughs> I would have sued this shit. You literally just had an alibi. You were like, I told the motherfucker. I can't fire me. I'm yeah, the one who told I, you I, about I it. I told you a million times. It was, this dude was in here stealing shit. <laughs> so, nah, man. Wow. Uh, what about you? You ever been on house arrest? No. Anybody close to you ever been on house arrest? Uh, like I said, I can I can recall seeing it in my, in my mind's movie, but uh, I don't remember it in yeah. particular. Pro <laughs> I would probably say like... Uh, one of the one of the McNulty boys. Was there? Oh, because there was an older McNulty too. Yeah. That's right. I only saw him in like a rare occurrence, and I was like, "Oh, that's a scary." Bro, there's some stories I could tell you. I already gave away his last name, but I don't even care. Samurai swords, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think he definitely that guy. Woo, he used to get his paycheck and spend it all on narcotics. And uh, then it would just be gone. 
I remember that. I remember him having money and then not not having it, but then having narcotics. Oh wow! And like we're crack. not talking about like oh, oh, have a fun time on Saturday narcotics. We're talking about narcotics. He's not rolling up a blizzy. Yeah, the ones that are only like named after like animals and letters. I don't even know what that means, but go to thecrazytown.com and you can find out more about what that means for Jonas. <laughs> TNT. Oh, we out.